All right, so hello and welcome. We will be briefly discussing and introducing our VR climbing game tutorial and just take a quick look at what this tutorial will be covering and get a better idea of what exactly you are in for. So the list of things we'll cover is as such. So first we'll be setting up the VR project with Unreal Engine 4, showing the very basics of how to go about setting it up settings and what you might need we will at some point look at creating assets custom assets our own blueprints and materials etc for this game in particular we will also be implementing custom blueprints and actors as well so we'll be making sure that this game is tailored to our experience and you'll get a good idea of how to go about both taking existing blueprints and modifying them to suit your needs as well as making blueprints uh, from scratch in inverted commas because there is a lot of logic that is already packaged with the blueprints even when you create new ones. We will be looking at and discussing the game loop. So what will be the play experience, where they start, what the progression is, what their goals are and how it ends. The player scoring and progression will also be part of that. It'll help fill in some of the game loop. We will look at a scoring system we will discuss how to adjust it to make the game easier or more difficult. And we will discuss versions of progression such as checkpoints or um, uh, dying, etc. Any obstacles that could slow the player down, making that more, more difficult, more frequent, etc. We will briefly look at adding in music and some sound effects and a main menu. And then, of course, the widgets. So uh, it's a very, very basic HUD basically just to track the score, but that will also teach you everything you need to know to make a more complex HUD, maybe add in some other things, some life, energy, etc. if that's are the kind of things you want to add to the game. And then just a main menu that will greet the players when they start, before they actually go into the game, and will show you a nice setup for the initial stages of level streaming and a more efficient actual structure for your game We'll be separating our main menu and our actual levels so that'll allow the main menu if you wish to to take you to multiple different levels etc instead of having it as part of a single level and then of course we will build and test the game which fortunately in unreal is very straightforward there's a couple of small things we will need to check beforehand but typically speaking if you follow this tutorial and you use the correct templates etc building test in the game will be very straightforward, but it's a very important part of the development process to make sure that each change we've made, each new thing we've implemented works as intended and doesn't affect the uh, overall game loop and game experience. So I hope you are ready and excited and let's get started with the first lesson. So possibly one of the most useful references, usually the sets, where it is defined. So double click on the set and you will see that here as part of the grab action, when you grab, it first tries to figure out what's near the controller want, so that when the player starts, they can move close enough to start climbing. And then when they drop, they can move close enough again to start climbing on that side and they will then have access to the final platform. You'll notice the sort of margin Thank you. 